What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to run games smoother. Now to do this... Now to do this is very very simple, and you'll need to download one thing, which is from Razer. So you'll come to this page which will be in the description, scroll down and press download now. Now you can see, once you click download now, it might automatically start, and you can see if it doesn't, just click that. But you can see it also supports Vista, and it also supports XP. However, for Vista and XP, as you can see right here, these versions are no longer updated, so if there's any bugs, they're not going to be fixed. But, if you're above that, like most people probably are, then just go ahead and download it by pressing this here. Now, it doesn't come out as a folder like this, I've just put it as a folder because my desktop is messy, of course, my laptop, my PC is still broken. But this is what you get right here, Razer Cortex Setup. Now, just go ahead and run through that, it's really quick. And then after that, you should get this right here. So, as you can see, once it's open, you do actually need to create an account. You need an email and you need a password, so click Create Account and then just enter some stuff. And then after that, agree to their terms and services and just click Create Account. So you can see this is what you should get in your emails and all you need to do is click this here to verify the registration and you can see congratulations you have now successfully registered your Razer ID so you're good to go go back to the Razer program which is right here and just click login. Now I should have said this while you're creating the account make sure you have a real email address and don't use a fake one because it can come useful. Now you can see automatically it has Minecraft here the reason it has Minecraft here by itself is because I have Minecraft open right now. So I'm going to show you what type of lag, oh there we go, look at that lag, okay. So this is without the game booster on, and uh, just look at that lag right here. So this is on my laptop of course, and if we look at the settings, um, this is what I have on. So these are the settings right here, and what we need to do to make the uh, less lag I guess, what we need to do is come back here, click on the Minecraft, and then you click start game. Now you can see this should happen and you just have to wait and be patient with it. So we've closed out of the other Minecraft because this has opened up using the game booster. So we're going to go ahead and hit play because this one that it's opened up is actually running the game booster. You can see right there that is actually really quick. I've already seen a difference right there. And to be honest, this is the first time using this program on my laptop. Of course, I do use it on my gaming PC. However, I don't use the laptop much. So I'm going to test it out right now live and I'll see if there is a difference. Okay, so we'll go back to the same mode which is this one right here oh okay to be honest that actually loaded pretty quick uh now we just have to wait for the map to load up a bit now bear in mind my laptop is about four years old uh it's really really bad um look at that improvement straight away running around and stuff uh of course there is a little bit of lag but like i said my laptop is really old and also my recording or my uh my recording software such as camtasia and audacity is also on at the same time so that is why it's not as good. But of course, if you do have like a newer laptop or a better software, I guess, or better hardware, then it will be nice and smooth. Now, you'll see it's actually still pretty smooth, even though this is an old laptop. And I guess it is playable. But would I record with this? No. So uh, there's still going to be no Minecraft videos until I actually get my PC back. And hopefully that is pretty soon. But yeah, that is how you make your games run smoother very simple and of course I forgot to show you the uh, settings right here so we go to video settings you can see it's still on fancy maximum bright uh, particles all and all that stuff and still the same everything there and we're still going nice and smooth so that is it that is how you make your games on your PC or laptop run smoother and if you come to boost up here you can see you can mess around with some settings you can just go through and change this stuff if you know what you're doing then change it if you don't then just leave it because it's good how it is and of course it's running nice and smooth and to add your games they should automatically appear if not just click add here and then you click browse for your games and just final now I don't have any of the games on my laptop but that is how you'd find your games so yeah that is it for this video I hope it has helped you be sure to go follow me on Twitter I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel which I'm starting up pretty soon and finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat and show what I do throughout my day see you guys casual Saturday thanks so much for watching please subscribe rate and peace